Our next body hole can sometimes be double the trouble. You guys, you guys ever get that as a guy? You're, you're thinking, why do I even have nipples? Yeah. What are these things for? <laughs> they don't, they don't well, we're work. We're gonna get to that first. We all started out as the basically same. the same, the same sex, and we, then we differentiate based on testosterone because the female you're talking template. About when we're in the womb. You, when we're in the womb as fetuses, the fetus. female template is sort of the fallback template, and basically we all start out with the same thing. But the man differentiates when he starts to Malarian produce testosterone. And do you remember that? And so basically men still have nipples and they can still become sexually aroused with them, but obviously they're not gonna produce milk. But now we can all think about the nipple for what it is. It is an orifice, mm -hmm. it's a hole. Because that is so important for and something a something that probably child, happens to men a little more than women is runner's nipples. Yes. I don't know anybody that runs out there has ever ha that happened to them. I'm gonna show you a little example. Let me get my stuff here. Basically, if you're running along, and your shirt is kind of damp and a rough fabric, it can chafe on the nipple, and that can be really irritating. What often happens, I'm trying to think, is the I guess we're gonna say that's- That would be the nipple. This, the nipple? This, this is the nipple. <laughs> you, know, you might wanna visit the plastic surgeon for a little really surgical correction Jim, can there. I a, can I put a little Vaseline Yeah, yeah, if you put a little Vaseline Jim? on there, that can help. When I ran the LA Marathon, they were mm -hmm. actually handing out little samples of petroleum jelly halfway through the race, so all the people that didn't prepare could kind of put it right on there, on or there. putting a bandaid over it. And now if it's bad enough already that it's actually bleeding, you should kind of treat it kind of like an open wound a little bit, a little antibiotic ointment, mm -hmm. a little bandaid over it, and then when you take a shower, avoid soap on that area, because that will really dry it out. You know what, Dr. Gordon? You probably know more about the nipple than most men, because you're Well, a that's part of what I do, sure, yeah. doing breast surgery all the time, but I think you've summed it up. Number one, protect your nipples, keep them clean, wash them regularly, probably gentle soap and water, Make sure you moisturize. But something I want to mention, more and more people are getting piercings and tattoos mm. around their nipples. So in, in a case like that, be real careful where you're having that done and make sure you take care of those piercings, pull them out, clean, clean them properly because you can get infections in that area. And a lot of women, because you can have inverted nipples as well, a lot of women will um, be afraid they can't breastfeed if they have inverted nipples. Mm -hmm. And a lot of, there's a lot of different nipples to help to sort of pull things out. So it doesn't, inverted nipples does not mm -hmm. affect breastfeeding.